Click subscribe to receive notifications from the latest videos. Thank you. Ronan Farrow, the Hollywood prince who torched the castle. A child of entertainment royalty and an early witness to power used for ill. The son of Woody Allen and Mia Farrow opens up about helping bring down Harvey Weinstein. My family background made me understand abuse from an early age. The NBC News debacle and what's next? A big HBO deal, as mom Mia reveals why she was increasingly concerned for his safety. Ronan Farrow is dressed in a black tuxedo jacket and blue silk pajama bottoms. Showing a bit of stubble, his blonde hair must, he's holding court at the bar at Mama Lion, a sleek supper club in L. A South Korea town. It's a Saturday in early December and Farrow is among the guests of honor at a joint birthday party with his friends Shannon Woodward, the Westworld actress and Katy Perry Powell, and Juliette Liu, a fellow Yale alum and the executive assistant to Universal Pictures chairman Donna Langley. The theme is black tie and pajamas. Farrow, who lives in New York, won't turn 30 for a few days, but he's in LA running down sources for his next New Yorker piece. He won't reveal the topic, and the trip, during which he stayed with John Lovett, the former Obama speechwriter and comedic co-host of the popular political podcast Pod Save America, allowed him to have a small thing with close friends, a rare glimmer of a social life, he says. Just a few miles away, on the other side of the Santa Monica Freeway, a far less intimate event is unfolding. Disney's world premiere for Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Held at the 6,300-seat Shrine Auditorium, it is the quintessential budget-busting Hollywood spectacle that for decades has served to lard on this town's veneer of glamour and prosperity. The irony is more than topographical. It was Pharaoh, the golden-haired progeny of Hollywood royals Woody Allen and Mia Pharaoh who took a journalistic sledgehammer to this industry's meticulously tended facade when he, along with reporters from the New York Times, revealed decades of sexual predation by now-disgraced film mogul Harvey Weinstein. His October 10 expose for The New Yorker upended the town's historic casting couch culture and spurred a wave of disclosures that have toppled powerful men in Hollywood, the media and politics. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video interesting please like and share to many friends know. Do you have any questions please comment below to let everyone know. And do not forget to click on the subscribe button to receive notifications from the latest videos. Goodbye and see you again.